It's a nice win today for the number five seed, Simona Halep, who's into the round of 16 after beating the French Open semifinalist, Kiki Burtons, in straight set, 6-4, 6-3. Simona is through to the second week here at Wimbledon and joins us now in our Wimbledon primetime studio. Well done today. Thank you. What were the, uh, the keys to the match for you? Actually, I knew that she's a strong player and she has a lot of confidence because she won uh, important matches in French Open. I played a long time ago against her and she beat me at that time, but uh, I knew that I'm a different player, I'm stronger and uh, actually I felt really well on grass this, uh, this year. I came very early here practicing. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't play uh, matches, official matches on grass this season, but uh, it was better. I take it like more positives uh, because I came here earlier and I'm used already. You've had an Achilles injury that's kind of bothered you throughout the year. How do you feel physically? Are you, are you good? Actually, yeah, I feel good. Uh, I forget when I go on court to play about my Achilles. It's very strange because uh, some days I feel the pain and some days I, some days I don't feel. So I cannot say that I am 100%, but when I go on court, I feel good. You look pretty good today. Uh, were you aware of how many amazing sports stars were sitting there in the Royal Box today? Yeah, it was amazing for me. It's different, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Did it make you nervous at all? I was nervous <laughs> at the beginning, but then I just started to be focused for what I have to do. Uh, it's always nice to play on center court, and uh, I have great memories from 2014. I was enjoying a lot every moment of the match. Why don't we go through and take a look at some of uh, the match today, and Martina can sort of talk about what she sees I did from a volley her perspective. Today. You did a volley, just one? <laughs> well, you've been trying to get to the, closer to the baseline, right? Be more aggressive, especially yeah. on the grass. I tried, yeah, I tried to be more aggressive and I tried to go to the net more. I did twice today, I think, but <laughs> one, yeah, I won the point. Two more than last year? Yeah. Well, well, that's good. I mean, you have the game, you have the legs, you can do pretty much anything on the court. It's just a matter of doing it. Great yeah. pass there. Yeah, I'm trying to improve more in my legs because I feel safe when I have strong legs. Now yeah, you're inside the baseline there. Very good. Very happy there. So speaking of sports stars, I, I love the way you move, I love the way you play, but sometimes I feel like you're too hard on yourself. Nadia Komanichi is a good friend of yours, amazing athlete, of course, and star. She also said you need to be nicer to yourself. Are you listening to Nadia at all? Uh, I'm listening to her, and I appreciate her a lot for Perfect Ten, of course. Um, uh, always it's nice to have advices from uh, those people, but sometimes it's tough to do what they say because, um, yeah, I'm too hard with myself, and uh, now I'm trying just to cool down a little bit to be more nicer to me, uh, and I think I did it pretty well in you, the end. You, you had such success in 2014, and you've evolved your game. Now, where, where do you want to take your game? What are the things that you'd like to focus on now? Uh, surf. I'm working every day. Uh, I'm stronger, actually, I can say. Return, because it's really important uh, with uh, the players that are surfing pretty strong, and there are many now in these days. And uh, we, I'm working a lot uh, with my, to, to my legs, because uh, I feel safe, and when I feel safe and uh, I feel that I can move very well, I feel that I uh, dominate the game. You've had some success on this surface. How do you, how do you have to adjust your game for grass? Any, any things you have to change? Uh, yeah, we have to change always when we play um, on different surfaces, but uh, the base is the same. I mean, I have to, to keep my uh, aggressive style, to open the court, to have angles, and just to adjust that you cannot play with a lot of topspin on grass. So I have to play more flatter and more aggressive. Darren Cahill has been a great TV analyst and part-time coach for the team Adidas. What did you say to him to get him to quit everything and be your coach? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to answer. I don't know. I started to work with him uh, last year in Indian Wells, so we have one year and a half already. Um, I liked how uh, he explains yeah. the things. Uh, I like Darren that uh, he's very relaxed, uh, different mentality than Romanians and then my uh, growing up. Um, He's, uh, he has confidence uh, that I can be a good player, like one of the best. Um, he He's just, right? Yeah, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> and uh, I just, um, I'm better worker now. I'm more motivated and uh, I'm more professional, I can say, with him. Well, congratulations on today, and it's great to see you out there playing so well. Thank you. Simona Halep.